Houston, this is DeMilo. DeMilo, this is Houston. Have you completed your diagnostics? Houston, all systems are fully operational. Congratulations, DeMilo. Your launch was successful. Our next communication will be at 1100 hours. Houston, out. Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the starship, DeMilo. It's a five-day mission. To explore, to explore strange, strange new worlds, worlds to, to seek out new life and new civilizations. To boldly go when no one's, one's gone, gone before. before. <laughs> I'm afraid it's only Venus we're going to this time around. My enthusiasm for new life forms died after I met my mother-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> Lieutenant Williams, you are in charge while we take some rest. You will be relieved at, oh, 700 hours? Yes, sir. I'll see you both in the morning. Good night. Look at Venus. Beautiful. I shall put the ship in orbit and... That can't be right. Something on that side at least have to be a meteor. Captain, sorry to disturb you, sir, but I think there's a meteor out here. A meteor? Are you sure? That's what the data's saying. All systems are fully operational. I'm on my way. Wake up, Lieutenant Taylor. Yes, sir. Lieutenant Taylor, please report to the bridge. I think we have a rogue meteor out here. What? I'm on my way. What is our location? I was just about to enter orbit around Venus. Uh, what is the trajectory of the meteor? We will collide with it in approximately five minutes if we do not change our course. Set ship on a bearing of 350 degrees and engage. Bearing of 350 degrees set, sir. Status report to Lieutenant Taylor. We will miss the meteor by 1,000 kilometres. We can expect some turbulence to pass the meteor. Strap yourselves in. Captain, there's a small meteor travelling beside the one we were tracking. Sensors were unable to pick it up as the large one was blocking it. Its trajectory. We are currently on a collision course. Computers indicate that there's a probability of 0.15 chance that we'll miss both meteors. Lieutenant Taylor, inform Houston we have a problem. Houston, this is DeMilo. Lieutenant Williams, set ship on a bearing of 175 degrees. Houston, we have a problem. Will that work, sir? We're about to collide Our with... Our only choice to change direction completely. An unexpected meteor. Full speed. I'm rerouting power from secondary sources to engines. I don't care if your sensors aren't picking them up. Shields up. I am staring at both of them right outside the front window. Possible damage. Houston, we could die. Brace yourself for the impact. Impact in three, two, one. Status report. The back section's gone, and there's a whole breach in the middle section, and if we've lost power in the middle section. The calculation system is damaged beyond repair. Navigations are down, communications are down, and we've lost a lot of fuel. How much fuel is left exactly? About enough to travel 104.5 million kilometres. Is that enough fuel to get us home? There is only one way to find out. What do we know? Venus, Sun and the Earth make up a 90 degree triangle in two places in Venus's orbit around the Sun. With the formation of a right angle triangle, we can use Pythagoras' theorem or trigonometry to calculate out how far we need to travel back to Earth. I can get the spaceship to orbit Venus in approximately 10 minutes, forming a right angle triangle with the Sun and the Earth. The captain's emergency box has been designed for situations exactly like this especially when the calculating computers is damaged beyond repair. So, the Earth will be here, the Sun will be here, and Venus will be there. A right-angled triangle, we are saved! Only Pythagoras' theorem and trigonometry are used with right-angled triangles. So, Katoa! No worries, I know all about right-angled The triangles. maths will let us know if we have enough fuel or not. The fuel is our problem. But, right now we need to focus on the task at hand. Yes, sir. So what do we know? The hypotenuse is always across from the right angle. So this side is the hypotenuse. The sine ratio uses the opposite side in the hypotenuse. The sine ratio has a maximum one and a minimum of minus one. And there's a period at 360 degrees, or two pi. The sine of zero is zero. The cosine ratio uses the adjacent side and the hypotenuse. 
And consign ratios of maximum 1 and a minimum of minus 1, and a period of 306 degrees, or 2 pi. The consign of 0 is 1. The tangent ratio uses the opposite side and the adjacent side. The tangent ratio has no maximum or minimum, has a period of 360 degrees, or 2 pi. The angle between the Earth and Venus, our location, is approximately 46 degrees. It is located here. The distance between the Earth and the Sun is approximately 150 million kilometres. So we need to use the hypotenuse and the adjacent side. Cosine! cosine. So I need to type in 150 million times cosine 46 equals. This will tell us how far away from the Earth we are. Don't, Don't forget, forget the calculator, calculator needs to be in degrees. degrees. I am on it. I came top in the calculator competency test at NASA. That's it then. It will be tight, but we should have enough fuel to get back to Earth. But we'll have to abandon our scientific research on Venus. Start with pairs. Set a course for home. We're entering the Earth's atmosphere now. Sir, there's a fire in the middle section. It's moving towards the fuel. If it reaches the fuel tanks... Set off all the fire extinguishers. In the middle section. That's just it, sir. We have no power in the middle section. I can't put the fire out. You check the middle section, you check the middle section. Gravity can take us home. It's too late, sir. The fire's reached the fuel tanks. I... You were quite good in that simulation. Good. We were great. We didn't get hit by the first meteor, which could have killed us. Only got damaged by the second. Tried out the new shield technology and got the trigonometry correct so we knew we could get home. But why did you decide to kill us? All you had to do was hold your position. A meteor would have passed on either side of the ship. That turbulence would have ripped the ship apart. <laughs> Not with the Milo. It is made of a new modified metal. That is why we were running these simulations. This state-of-the-art spaceship with the modern metal and shields means you can withstand more in space. You need to think outside the box in this ship. Who fancies a coffee? I personally have not been resurrected to have coffee from any machine. Who said anything about a machine? I was going to treat you all to a canteen coffee. 